Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I'm about a week away from finishing up my latest video course on how to draw horses. Now I've had a great time creating this course, and I take you through everything from the musculature and the skull of the horse's head down through the musculature of the rest of the body. I talk about drawing the legs and how they move, the muscles of the legs, and how those muscles work in, in getting the horse to walk which also goes into, I cover walks and runs and trots, the locomotion, I kind of pull from my animation background. I also cover baby horses, I'm gonna cover draft horses, which are the big workers out there. So it's really full of information. Like I said, I've had a great time creating it. And so, like I've done with my other courses, I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you a sneak peek. So I'm sharing with you today, I think the second video uh, in the course on how to draw the horse's head from different angles. It's something that I think you guys might enjoy. And then for the rest of you out there that are subscribers to my website, creatureartteacher.com, look in your email because you're gonna find access to the other five videos that I've created so far. You get early access to what I've done. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy those. So, like I said, I'm about a week away from finishing up and, uh, and that will be released onto the website, the whole course. But today, like I said, I wanted to give you this, this one video and give you a little sneak peek. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks, bye. Okay, so in this next video, I would like to go ahead and let's just look at horses' heads and draw them uh, from a few different angles. Um, now, you know, we've gone over some of the, the anatomy and the muscles and that sort of thing, and that's, you know, I want to keep that in your head. But now let's just break it down. Let's break it down into simple shapes so we can really put, you know, the, our drawing skills to use. I want to, you know, start showing you the basic shape of that head, that wedge shape. And we'll, we can draw that from different angles and start getting some detail in there and really start putting it to use. So why don't we just uh, go ahead and jump right in and we'll start drawing. So this first one, why don't I, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to do something that's a little bit of a down angle. You know, a lot of times when a horse walks up to you, they'll walk up with their head down a little bit and then they'll bring their head up to you. So I'm gonna bring the, try doing that and it's slightly three quarter. But the first thing I wanna think about is let's think about that shape of that head. I'm gonna draw that center line coming down. Remember I was saying that there, you, know, you got this nice diamond shape coming in like so. And that's, that all comes right down into the nostrils. And then here, I'm going to draw very loosely to begin with. There we go. And those are that's going to be our those are going to be our eyes, obviously. And then this is going to come in. I'm drawing those cheeks coming down. Always think about you know that horse's head. It's this wedge. I always think about this shape here, and you've got this wedge shape that comes down and then basically that kind of shape with the eye in here okay and the nostrils so i think about this shape even when we're looking at it from the front so now as we're looking at it from the front where we're, we're thinking about okay it's that same wedge shape. Now just looking at it from the front, okay? So think about that as you're drawing your horse. Always, you know, approach from, you know, the, the standpoint of thinking about it in basic shapes, like so. Just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and get this guy in here. Remember, remember when I showed you on the skull right here? You know, when we look at that skull, this part right here is really thin. So don't forget that. And it's going to vary from horse to horse, yes. But, it, you know, normally that's a very, very thin 
area in the nose and then it's going to flare out into the nostrils. So I just want to get this basic shape in. It's going to come down like so. And you can see that I'm trying to do it slightly three quarter. There. Let's go ahead and just bring that neck up. Let me take this guy. I'm just gonna move that. I'm just gonna move that right there. We'll just keep that <laughs> as a little bit of reference. There. So now we can think of this guy as kind of walking forward. And remember I told you I was talking about those those nostrils being in the shape of like sixes. Well, let's go ahead and draw those sixes in there. But now because this is at a slightly different angle, I'm going to do it something like that. All right. Now let's go ahead and do those eyes. The eye can be done very, very quickly like so. Eyelashes. Horses have pretty long eyelashes. And remember, remember I was talking about on the skull right in here. Right here and right here are these hollow areas. And that shows up on the, you know, on the outside of the horse. It shows up under the skin. So I want to get that in there, indicate that. And then we can, you know, the, the, the bangs coming down can be indicated any, any number of ways. So I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. Maybe they're coming off the side there. Remember we talked about the shapes of the ears and they kind of curl in towards the inside of the, you know, towards the center line. And do the same thing here. Comes down like so. And the ear comes up and curls in, you know, right there. Comes down. There we go. There. And that's going to come down into the chest area like he's coming forward. Now up in here. And we talked about some of these muscles. There's a nice bit of muscle that comes down like so. There we go. I want to keep it fairly simple. There's a nice strong hollow area right in there as we look at that horse. So you got a center line, you know, if we're thinking about this nasal area, on here that's going to show up under the skin you know you'll see the a little bit you'll see you know how it transitions into comes down into the nasal area into the snout I always make a little indication in there like so that comes in like that so if I lighten this up let's tie it, let's tie it down a little bit because I want to do I want to do quite a few drawings for you and uh, so let's you know, in here, one of the things about the eyes is that, you know, they've got, you know, pretty strong eyelids and the skin tends to kind of wrinkle up a little bit sometimes. Here we go. I'm going to pull that back just a touch. I'm going to bring this down, get those eyes a little bit more in line with each other. There we go. I want a nice strong eyelid here. There, which goes right into this hollow area. Now remember we talked about the other thing I want to, I want to indicate, you know, these cheekbones right here, you know, they're they show through the skin pretty well. They're pretty, pretty dominant on the outside. 
you see them strongly. So I want to go ahead and get that kind of laid in, which is what comes down into here, like that, like that. So we're drawing the horse from a from this front kind of down three quarter angle. And their mouth is going to be in here, comes out for the lip there. I'm going to pull this back in just a touch. There we go. I want to get a nice flared out nostril. He's taking a nice breath. There. I'll come right around. You see this, see how the, that, the muzzle has this slight V shape like that, this up, up, and there. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's divided in half, you know, right down the middle. And so you get this kind of feel to it. Let's, that muzzle is going to come down like that. Oops, there we go. And we're going to bring that right down in there. There we go. Because I want it to feel like it's coming around. We'll get a few wrinkles in the muzzle right there. There. That'll come down into the cheekbone. And this all comes down just like so. Let's get these eyelashes coming down. Same here. There. And then we're going to catch, we're going to see a little bit of that cheek back there. And then it goes into some of these other muscles that we've indicated. Now there's, right along in here, we're going to come into the corner of the eye that comes down. And that all feeds, you know, we're going to see, this will feed into the, these, the, this relief that you see on the side of the head. It all kind of feeds down like so. There. I want to get something nice and thin in here. There's a nice hollow that comes in right there. There we go. We'll just indicate that leg, those legs. We'll get into the legs later. Right now I want to focus on the heads. There we go. Right up into the ear. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up the ear here. The ear here. Remember that shape. Get some nice fur going into the ears. I'm going to have that hair, you know, on the mane, all the hair tends to fall over to one side. There we go. There. And we'll get this guy drawn in.
So there is the one horse. And I'm probably, I'm going to, I'm just going to indicate a little bit of value in there just to darken that up. And we'll get those eyes. Darkened. There we go. But I, uh, I want to keep these, I want to do a bunch of them. So let's, there's the first drawing. We'll just indicate that in there. Showing, you know, what I'm thinking about when I'm drawing that horse's head. It's really thinking about those simple, that simple diamond shape right in here. That thin ridge on the nose comes down like so. And then those muscles that we established on the side of the face. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's, uh, let's do an open mouth. Because, um, you know, one of the things I've talked about before... You know, the corners of a horse's mouth are way down at the end of its snout. And so a lot of people, they don't think about where the jaw is. And when they draw that an open mouth on a horse, they just kind of draw it hinge down, down here. And so it, it looks really odd. And the thing you got to remember is that a horse's jaw is hinged way in the back, way back here. And so when the mouth opens up front, it, the whole jaw, jaw line comes down. Okay. And so I want to demonstrate that. So let's get in here and draw, draw a head. Let's pretend it's like a horse fighting or something like that. And I'm going to draw from the profile so you can really get a sense. So let's come in here. But rather than drawing a wedge like this, you know, and then having a mouth that opens like that, because no, it's hinged back here. All of this has to come down, okay? So rather than drawing that wedge, what it's going to be more like, so we've got the straight line here. I'll make a bigger brush. There we go. Let me open this up a little bit. Now, I'm just going to keep these lines somewhat parallel because that whole jaw line is dropping down. It's coming down. It's hinged up here. You know, we've got this shape to the jaw and it's coming way down, okay? That's what you want to keep in mind when you're drawing a horse with an open mouth. The other thing too, when they open their mouth, they can pull those, they can pull those lips way up. So those lips will get pulled way up and it squashes the nostrils, squashes them right up. And the mouth opens, even just because the corner of the mouth is there, you know, that jawline goes way, way back. And so what happens as a result of them opening their mouths like this, what you're going to get are these teeth are going to get, you know, you, that skull comes down. If you look at the skull here, you know, you get these, these wedges that come down like this. And so if the snout comes up and the lips come down, you know, you've got these teeth that get exposed. And if, you, if any of you have ever been bit by a horse, <laughs> it's no fun. I've been bit right in the head several times when I had horses when I was a kid. And it doesn't feel good. So they have this ability to pull those lips way up and expose these teeth right here, like so. They can do the same thing down here. And on stallions, they can even get their, their canines exposed and they can bite and really get some really strong uh, injuries in there. But let's go ahead and I want to remember that the cheekbones coming down, that cheek right there. Remember I was talking about it, it's not really covered up with any muscle. And then that's going to go right into all of that muscle here. There's that jawline that comes in. You might even get a little bit of wrinkling of the muzzle up there. There we go. That comes around. Remember those eye sockets is, is right there. So I want to indicate a little bit of that. And then this hollow. And if he's fighting, maybe, maybe some of that hair is coming up. But notice 
This is the biggest thing. Notice how those two lines, it's not, a, it's not that wedge shape anymore. You know, and this really gets hollowed out in here. And you still got the hollow shapes in here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to come down into the neck. Like so. And a lot of times when a horse is fighting, they'll pull those ears back. You're going to pull them right back. Like so. There we go. There. So look at that. And then that neck is going to come way out. And we'll get into, like I said before, we'll get into that neck because there's a lot of muscle in here that we need to go over. But right now, I want you to see that the shape of that ear just gets flattened right out. There, like so. So that's how a horse's mouth opens. Remember, they can pull those, those lips way back, but when that jaw opens, the whole horse's head changes shape. It doesn't just open at the mouth. That whole, that whole jaw opens right up. So you get this shape right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and tie that down a bit. So I'm going to go in here, remember? These two lines like so, and then you've got the that shape there for the eyes. Now looking at it, I'm thinking, you know what I'd like to do? Maybe he's really He's really stressed. I'm going to change the shape of that eye. I'm going to really widen it. And with horses, when they, you know, when they, when they get stressed like this, you can actually see, they'll show the whites of their eyes. And that's, you know, that's a real strong, that's a, it's a real strong expression. But coming down right into the snout, remember underneath that skull is coming like this. Underneath there, there's that nasal cavity. It comes down and right into the teeth and then there's canines in there like so. Then the other teeth are back in here, right under the cheekbone. So I keep that in mind as I'm drawing. Let's do a couple of wrinkles here. Pulling that muzzle right up. And it squashes, like I said, it squashes. The nostrils get squashed out. So if you're doing, you know, a horse battle, if you're doing, you know, warriors on horseback or something like that, there's that cheekbone right in there. Um, you know, remember, remember these these mouth shapes. There's those teeth coming right down like so. They really, really show. There we go. Flat teeth coming down. And let's get a canine in there. There. Getting that chin. I want to make sure we get that nice fleshy chin in there. And then here's some of the soft tissue and then the jaw line. The jaw itself is going to be right in here. This goes right into the muscle. So I'm going to get this to come up and then this comes up, will come up right up into here, into some of this muscle in here. Go 
there. And once again, I want to keep this ear folded back. I got a little messy. There we go. Folded back. And then we'll just let it feed right into that mane and the bangs on the on the horse. There. There we go. So there's that that cheekbone. This part right here, if you look, this little hook right there, that shows up under the skin. And so that's what I'm indicating right there. It's that little spot. And that feeds right into our jaw muscle. There we go. There. So there's that open mouth, that jaw in profile. I'm going to indicate some hair, some of this mane coming up. There we go. I actually do want to color this one in a little bit. There we go. Just so we get a little indication. Just real quick. These are all going to be fast sketches, but I want you to get a sense of, you know, what I think about and what you should be thinking about shape-wise when you're drawing horses from different angles. There we go. If I were to erase that back, you can see the white, the white of his eye there. And if we went ahead and added a little bit of shadow, it would look something like that. We'll get a little shadow coming off that cheekbone, definitely some shadow under here. I just want to give it a little bit of form so you can see this will cast some shadow underneath. We get like a hollow area in here. There we go and this would be dark under the eye. And you get a little bit of darkness under here as that jaw opens up from that cheekbone right there. Let's go ahead and darken up his mane. Like so. And then over the top, let's just go ahead and throw a few highlights in here. Get a little bit of a highlight coming off of there. Maybe on here. That's a little strong. I'm going to bring this down just a bit. There we go. Catch a little light there. I'm just going very, very rough. This would catch along that cheekbone that goes up into the skull up there. And we catch some light coming off of that that mane or off the neck right here. You get some reflection, especially if he's wet, you know. There.
There. Let's go ahead and shrink him up. Okay, so we've got we've got a couple of horses here. We've got that front angle. There's a profile showing that open mouth. I really wanted to talk about, you know, keeping in mind that jawline. Let's go ahead and do another, I'm gonna turn those off. Let's go ahead and do another uh, angle. Let's do another drawing. That's why we're here, we're here to draw. While we're at it, why don't we, uh, let's do another, I wanna do another kind of fighting horse, open mouth, kind of dramatic. I like drawing horses really dramatic. So let's do something, let's do kind of an upshot. Almost like he's rearing back. We'll come back here. I'm gonna do that. I wanna get that basic shape to the head. Head's gonna come down. It's gonna be a three quarter. But once again, I wanna bring that snout way up. Like so. So if I'm doing that, what's gonna happen? It's not gonna be a triangle like this, right? No, 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 it's going to be down here. We're going to get this shape down here. Like that. And the other corner of the mouth is going to come down. Remember I told you those teeth are going to get really exposed. So right now I'm just going to indicate just very roughly what those teeth might look like. Remember those nostrils squash out like so. And let's put that, you know, so since we're at this angle, the eye is going to be way up here. Like that. We might get a little piece of the other eye over here. If we bring that other mouth down, well these teeth are going to come way up. You know those teeth come, they come up in that wedge shape like that. I'm going to blow this up a little so you can see a little better. There we go. And I, I want to get, I'm going to get the lips coming around. They have beautiful lips. Yeah, and then the chin right there. Horses just have the best lips on them. And then We'll get this to come down. Remember I was showing when we were doing the uh, the muscles, this shape right here. I want to get that kind of squashed in there. So there's the nostrils there. Really flared out. There. They're going to get the corners of the mouth kind of come together in there sometimes. Maybe we'll get a little indication of the tongue. Once again, I want to draw the whites of the eyes. Maybe he's, you know, he's getting pulled back, getting reared back. There. I'm going to indicate. Oh, see those, those ears getting pulled back. Some of the wrinkles. Like so, see there? Once again, you're gonna see that cheekbone coming down. You always see that cheekbone. Just like there. Just like that. You always see that. There we go. And you got, once again, I want to indicate. If you see along from the corner of the eye, it gets thin coming off, the, coming off the corners of the eye. So I want to indicate that here. And it's also going to come up, these muscles that are pulling the snout up might be flaring up. There we go. I 
I want to give them a nice big mane coming off of there. There we go. And once again, I will get into the muscles of the neck. I want to get into showing the angles on the on this uh, on the horse here. And we'll color in that eye. Remember, a hollow, there's that hollow up here, and the cheekbone coming off the eye back there. So there's the cheek there, which comes up into here. You know, it's the equivalent of, if you feel back here behind your eye, that's this up here, this area. We're gonna get nice, strong, cheek muscles right there and we're going to see the other one on the other side like I said just catch, catching a tiny little piece of that other eye there there you go so you can see so we're catching a little bit of the you know the underneath Right there, which is coming down like so. So I'm going to knock that back and let's draw over the top of it like I do on all the other drawings. So get the corner of the eye. He's rearing back. Let's pull that eye back a little bit. Maybe he's in a panic. There, like so. Like that. Let's go ahead and... There. Whoa! You know, real shock. He's shocked. He's freaking out. There we go. I want to get those eye, the skin around the eye indicated. And we're looking straight, you know, that front part, that plane on the face, we're looking straight across it. So this is all really flat looking, except for that little piece of the eye. And that goes into the nasal bone. Now we're coming up into the soft tissue of the nostril and that squashed that squashed nostril is squashed because that nose is you know he's pulling it back he's exposing those teeth horses can be pretty fierce animals there we go Like so, there. This comes down right into these teeth. There. Those are kind of drawn in a little fast, but you get the idea. And I want to make sure I'm keeping my perspective right. So, you know, the eye is here and here. I want to make sure everything, the nostrils are in perspective, the teeth, the corners of the mouth, everything's got the same perspective. That's going to come in. That's going to come in there. Get those teeth in the right perspective. Like so. And the lips. I get a few wrinkles in there. There's some of that soft tissue, the jaw, going into the muscle of the jaw, right in there. Coming down off the ear, I want to get some of those wrinkles because the ear is reared back or it's pressed back. 
you'll get a little bit of wrinkle there. But you'll get a lot of wrinkle, wrinkles in the neck as the horse is kind of, kind of like, uh, you know, compressing his neck back. There we go. And once again, I want to indicate that cheekbone. There's going to be a little bit of muscle here, here, just a little bit of a relief in here. Let's get that ear pressed back. Remember it curls up. There. These are all very rough sketches. We're going to do more when we get into the full body. But I want to really indicate, show you from a basic standpoint, these different horse shapes, the head shapes from different angles. There we go, it comes into the throat, coming down this way. There we go. <clears throat> there. You really get that mane really wild. He's really kind of throwing his head back. There we go. Like so, there. And there's the, very roughly, that's the jaw on the other side. There, coming down. Get a little bit of hollow in here. Comes down right into that. Right into that jaw. The muscle in the jaw there. You've got muscle. That'll come down into here. There. There we go. And let's indicate underneath that eye a little bit. That plane is going under. There's a little bit there and a little bit there. There. So there's another shot of the horse. Let's get a, some of that. The horse's mane just kind of roughed in back here. There we go, just very quick. There, so there's another one, just showing another angle. I really, I really find this where the plane flattens out, where we get even with that, that front plane on the head and the eye gets really close to the edge. I find that a very appealing angle on a horse when they're rearing back, looking up on them like this. Um, it's an angle that I like to draw. So anyway, there's that. All right, let's go ahead. So we've got this guy shrunk up. Let's do another angle. Let's go ahead and um, let's kind of do like an upshot, like from underneath. Um, yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna dive in. Let's shrink this up a little bit. There we go. So if you got a horse that's looking up, well, I'm gonna break it up into planes. So I'm going to start at the snout, looking at a nostril right here. There we go. It'll kind of come around. 
what's going to happen? We're going to get... So if you look at, real quick, if I hold this like this, and you look up, at, you can see that wedge under the, the wedge shape that that jaw makes underneath. You see that? Well, that's what we want to get across here. So as you're looking up, this will come up into the eye socket. And this is going to come around like so. Remember I t indicated there's, there's soft tissue in here. But then you'll get the other jaw coming up like this. You see what I'm doing? Now I've got this kind of perspective going on and look, see I screwed that up. So I want to make sure that I have, but I like the distance. I like where this jawline is. So I'm going to bring this jawline way down. I want to make sure that I'm hitting it in the right place. There we go. Like so, like that. Maybe we can bring the head around like that. But what I'm trying to do is I want to, you know, if you're thinking, if you just think in basic shape. So here we've got this shape. It comes up, that wedge. We're looking up on it. I'm thinking in these terms and it kind of pushes back, you know, slopes back a little bit, but I'm, I want that kind of shape. So that's what I'm thinking about. You can see that, that jawline very strongly on a horse, which really helps actually when you're, <clears throat> when you're having to draw an angle like this, it really helps to have those anchor points. So let's come back up. Now here, if you look at the eye, you can see the eye sockets come, you know, they, they come out. They come out, you know, they jut out from the head. So I want to indicate that. Here, there we go. Pull those ears back. I'm going to see more of the bottom of it. There we go. Real basic shapes, like so. There we go. That horse nose, that shape comes down and then there's the nostril here and then that goes into the lip. This is going to come in. Remember we had muscle that comes off the nostril and kind of feeds back. So I want to have that come in like that. And then there's that thin part of the skull. And remember there's this cheekbone. Always use that as your anchor. Now there's a cheekbone right there. So we've got a nice shape happening here. And there's a hollow that kind of comes off, you know, for the throat, which feeds into where the tongue and everything is through there. Maybe we'll have the mane kind of coming off that way. But I'm going to shrink that brush up and let's get in and rough in that eye. So the eye is going to follow, you know, the direction of the snout.
and we're looking up on it so I want to make sure we get that kind of feel there we go like so you know the eye is normally like that but if you look if you're looking up up at it like this direction it's going to follow the form of the socket we're also going to just see a lot of the shape of the eyeball itself and it's going to look something like that and that's what I'm doing here there and eyelashes so let's go ahead and knock it back and we'll tie it down a bit so let's uh, go ahead and start with the eye here I'm indicating a little bit of the underside of that eyelid there we go and I want to get that the ridge of that bow when it comes down we have you know the, the cheekbones the upper part of that cheekbone is seen right there and then once again we'll see that cheekbone down here because there's no muscle up here all that muscle attaches right into that jaw just like so okay and there's the that jawline where it comes together and we get into some of the soft tissue in here but then there's that the outside of the jaw and the muscle and it connects right in there like so this all kind of comes together right in here now I want to get this chin and then there's muscle that comes back just a little indication of it right there and we're gonna have the lips come together here Remember that wedge shape I was talking about right there? And then this comes down. And we'll get a nice little shape to that fleshy mouth. There we go. Come up into the nostril. That little ridge that comes down on the snout, which is going to feed right into this nostril. There we go. And it's got a thickness to it, so we're going to get a little thickness to that nostril right there, which feeds into that muscle. Remember, I talked about the muscle that controls the snout, one of the muscles. There we go. It's a difficult angle, but it really helps to really think about that wedge shape first. So you end up with something like this. A horse looking up. And once again, it's very important to keep your perspective in mind. Because if you don't, it's going to look really wonky. So we've got this happening with the jaw. The nostrils are going in the same direction. Everything's going in the right direction. And this should be nice and thin. There'll be a nice little hollow up in there. And let's go ahead and get that ear. There, coming down. I want to get that to come in just a little bit better. There we go, and come right into there. Maybe we got a little bit of, you know, the hair 
on the main is coming over and just kind of flowing off this side. Okay. So if I were to add a little shadow, just a little bit, because I want to indicate that little hollow area. The underside of the chin, I should say. You know, it's hollow in there. But it would look, it would feel something like this. Like that. We might get something back here. I'll shrink that brush up a little bit. Like so, okay? So there it is looking up, you know, looking underneath and up at a horse's head. But just by thinking about your basic shapes and knowing that anatomy, the jawline underneath, you can figure it out. You can work it out like that. Okay. So there, those are four of our horses so far. Let's go ahead and just do, let's do one more. I want to do another angle, something that might be a little difficult. Um, you know, I've seen like, like you're looking down on a horse and they're kind of reaching out. I want to get, I want to see where you're, you can see part of that. I'm just going to push this, this angle where you're seeing the top part of the head a little bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of those and we'll just dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to think of different, you know, angles that might be difficult. So if you had one that might be a little bit rear three quarter and kind of turned, um, you know, if you're drawing horses in battle, you're going to have to do all kinds of different angles. And so you really got to think about those shapes. And so let's go ahead and do that. So here, maybe he's reaching up. And I want to get that wedge shape like so. But here, I'm going to put the eye down in here. Okay, and if that eye is there, then the other eye is going to be over here. You see what I'm doing? I want to show kind of a looking down on this horse. And so we're going to get this real thin area here. And it's going to come down right into the nostrils. There we go, like so. And I just go, see how rough I go to start with? There. And I know the, you know, I'm once again, I'm going to pull it out again, the, 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 the this skull and show you that, that ridge, you know, just like the eyes are anchors. These cheekbones can be anchors as well. And so I know that that cheekbone comes up underneath the eye and comes in here. So that's going to help me because then I know that that fits right along that jawline or the, uh, the muscle here comes up underneath in this way. There we go. Wedge shape. Here's that diamond. And what do I get? I get this hollow area here. I'm going to get the hollow area here. I'm going to go ahead and just draw his, that mane coming down. Maybe that ear is coming back and we're just catching like the under, would just get like it's leaning down a little bit. There we go. So there's this kind of feel. And move that over. There we go. I want to get rid of that line. I want to keep that nice, strong wedge shape.
There. Right, we got this plane. There's the top plane. Like that. And this is nice and thin right in there in that part of the nose. There, we get that bottom lip. I'm gonna pull this back just a touch. And once again, I wanna make sure that my perspective is right. The, the, that's the key to getting these odd angles, getting them drawn in right. So if my perspective is like that, you know, that's the eye line. Well, let's make sure that the, you know, my perspective should be going, you know, like that. It all goes, it all converges, but it all should be lining up. So I want to make sure that my nostrils are lining up as well. And there's that muscle coming off of there. And there should be muscle coming back this way. There's a big muscle. That's major. There we go. There. So, this comes up like this. So we get the diamond shape, you can see there, and that comes back to the, the neck. I'm gonna just go ahead and draw some hair coming down. But you can see, there's that top plane here, and then it comes down to the side plane. Let's go ahead and knock it back. I'm always just talking my way through. I'm thinking about that basic shape first and then putting the, the anatomy over the top. So we're looking down on the eye. Here's some eyelids. And that comes into the corner of the eye. Let me shrink up that brush a bit. And then, you know, strong eyelids there. And also, you know, they've got the eyelashes. Here I indicate them, you know, right there. Strong eyelashes. Strong. There's those cheekbones coming down, which leads right into that jawline, that muscle. Remember that muscle all comes up underneath that cheekbone, remember when we were going over the anatomy. Nice, strong cheekbones for chewing and biting and all the stuff that horses do. There we go, there's that ear. I want to indicate a little bit of its form. There we go, like that. There's the other one back there. Now we're coming up for that eye, that other eye ridge. I want to indicate a little bit of it there because we're coming in. Now I'm imagining underneath, if you could see under the skin that goes into that, that nasal bone and then we get into the cartilage here. So that nasal bone's kind of coming in there. Oh, right about there. All right. Now we've got the cartilage that comes in. We're gonna go into the nostril, looking at the back side of that flared nostril there. We'll get something that looks like this. As 
And you're going to see a little thickness to that nostril there. And right into that front lip. And bottom lip. There we go. There. This comes up and then we're into that bottom, that jawline right there. And then this comes in as muscle. There's muscle in there. There we go. You get a little relief that and a little indent that comes down under the eye. But there. I have some hair that comes out of the ears right here. So I'm going to indicate maybe some of the bangs coming down. Like so. There. Drawing horses. I love drawing horses. They're so expressive and their shapes are just amazing. I love, I love, love drawing horses. I like drawing all animals, as you guys can probably figure out. But horses, there's something special about horses that I just, I really love. Let's go ahead and get that going into the here. But remember, we've got that thin, there's that thinness that flares back out into the nos, into the uh, muzzle down here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just go ahead and add a little bit of shading just so I can define some of these planes a little bit better for you. So that's going to come down. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put all of this into shadow. You know, this is the, you know, that's the top part of the head is in light. And that's in shadow. And then that's going to cast a little bit of shadow there. But look at this. This is going to catch a little light. This cheekbone is going to stick out and catch some light. But this, you know, this goes under. So you can see what I'm doing and then, you know, this will be in shadow, but, and this will be a little shadow, but we'll catch a little bit of light there. We might catch, this will go into shadow, but maybe we catch a little bit of light on that snout as it flares, flares out. Okay. Like so. There we go. So there's one last horse. I wanted to show you just one more kind of odd, difficult angle. Okay, so I know I said the last one was the last one, but uh, I think I should do one more. I'd like to do one from behind, kind of rear three quarter, because there's some interesting things that happen with the way the eye works its way into the cheekbone and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and just dive in and do one more. So. Let's start with, I'm going to start with the top of the head. I want to come down and like I said, I'm, we're looking at rear three quarters. So if I were to draw the shape of the head from, you know, it would look like we're actually going to look at it, you know, from this angle. Okay. So you're going to see the, the, the jaw line, <clears throat> the two jaws from behind and the eye coming out here like so. Like that. This comes down and then it's going to flare out for the nostril. Let me knock that up just a bit. There we go. Like that. What happens is you get this kind of feel. The, the cheek bone comes down in here 
There we go. And then this comes in and it comes under right here. Now, what I was going to say, if we we're drawing just the head kind of disjointed from the rest of the from the rest of the neck, it would look something like this. Now let's I'm going to let's imagine like overlapping shapes here. So this would come in like so. And then we'd have that chin. Remember that chin has that shape to it. And then this is going to come in. I want to get overlapping shapes. And then that's going to come right into this jawline. And remember, this comes together like a wedge. Remember? This shape right here, that V shape comes together like a wedge. But look how far that eye sticks out. What I want to do is I want to come in and we'd get, you know, the eye itself comes in there and we get some thickness to the eyelids. Like so. And the nostrils, because they kind of point, you know, they face forward, the nostrils do, you just kind of see the back, that back rim like that. Also, I'm going to go ahead and and imagine the ears kind of pointing forward like so. Now, if we want, you know, the head could, could be coming down like this, in which case you'd have a neck. You'd see the other jaw, you know, if the head was coming down like that or the neck, I'm sorry, the neck you could do something like that or Let me get rid of this. What I'd like to do is do something like right There we go, like that. It's a little bit more pleasing for me. And then we can get that other ear. Remember that? They, they, whoops. I want to make sure I'm getting the right perspective. There we go. Like so. And I'm going to get rid of this. There. And you get nice muscle here. And then this comes down right there. Pull that back just a bit. This all kind of comes together like so. There we go. I'm going to pull that back and bring this right down into here. This is all muscle that comes down into this like so. There we go. And then let's let's go ahead and pull this mane. I'm going to pull the mane right over towards us. It's all flopped over to this side. So here we've got this bone, the cheekbone, coming down. And I want to get this. And remember, there's a muscle that comes in here. So I want to indicate that in here. Just to just loosely indicate some of that stuff. We might get a little bit of wrinkles of the skin under there. But I wanted to I wanted you to see. I'm gonna get rid of that a little bit because what we get actually, I'm gonna pull this, pull that back so we can. There's remember the cheekbone comes way up here. And that muscle, all this muscle comes underneath there, like that. So that's going to come down. And this is all kind of hollowed out. There's muscle that comes off you here and attaches to that nostril. You're going to get kind of a shape there. I'll pull that back a little bit just to clear it out. 
So then we end up with something that looks like this. See how that eye comes out? And all this is underneath. So this comes this way, that comes that way, and then it comes up and around. If you're looking at that shape, you're gonna have, we have this shape coming together like this. Okay, there's our basic shape. So think about those basic shapes and then build your anatomy on top. Let's go ahead and knock it back. We'll tie it down and we will call it done. This will be our last one. It's a long video, I know, but I thought it might be kind of fun to do a bunch of horse head drawings. So let's do this. There, it comes right down into the cartilage, back in here. Then this all feeds right into the hollow of this, of that muscle back here. Actually, I'm gonna define, because this, actually, that plane actually comes around like that. So I want this come under there what we're going to get we're going to get a roundness to that jaw in there and this will get this goes way back in there we go So this will come down into the bangs. I'm going to have that come down just a little bit. But we come down, there's the eye socket and the eyelids. Remember we get horses have great eyelashes. So we'll have that come down. And we're seeing that eye from behind. There's a little thickness right there. There we go. This comes down. And I want to indicate these cheekbones just a touch. But right there is its strongest area. You get a bit of a hollow in there where that muscle comes up. Remember there's muscles that come and attach into the snout, into the muzzle. Now we're coming up behind the nostril and that's going to go right into the lip. There's that top lip. Into the bottom lip. There we go. Coming down into that chin. Now, because we're seeing underneath, I want to see where that chin connects and the jawline comes in. And there's muscle here. It comes in kind of subtly. So, this is going to come down, feed in like that. But here's the other jaw, it kind of feeds into the, the soft tissue right here. This is where all the tongue and some of the other muscles for swallowing and it feeds right into the throat right there. But I wanted you to see this kind of feel. 
because it really does kind of come up. Actually, if I race this back, if you did something like this, it would still feel pretty good. Like if I come in here, because when I draw horses from life, if I'm going out and drawing from you know, in the pasture, a lot of times this is the kind of what I'll see is something like that. And that, that works too. Okay. If you can get these overlapping shapes, then you're, you know, you're halfway there. Like so, there we go. Like so, there we go. You know, so there's, there's that angle. I wanted to draw that angle in just so you could see one more. We didn't really cover, everything was kind of from the front. I wanted to do something from behind. All right, let's get this in. There we go. Okay. So there's that. And if I, I'm going to go ahead and throw just a little bit of value, a little bit of, uh, there we go. A little bit of shadow in here. There. So you can see it's going to come in here like this. We'll get a little shadow coming off of here. This is kind of rounded. There's a fair amount of shadow coming up off of there. There we go. If I were to go even darker with it, we'd get something like that. I'm, I want it to be multiplied. There we go. That looks better. It's like that, that color looks weird. There we go. Okay. So there's a horse's head from behind, starting with this simple shape right here there's our plane starting with that shape and you can build the anatomy onto that horse's head okay okay so there's our six horses uh that was, it was a lot of fun drawing these for you but uh, i wanted to do do this just kind of taking what we learned when we talked about doing some of the you know when we talked about some of the muscles the anatomy and the shape and how all that kind of works under the skin and then kind of simplifying it and putting it to good use and you know drawing the head from different angles the open mouths that sort of thing so anyway why don't we go ahead and move on to the next video Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Spread the word. And also, if there's something that you're not seeing that you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.